Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. Aquarius, I'm doing your weekly psychic tarot reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watchers are welcome. If this doesn't resonate, or if it does resonate, you might want to check your other placements. So... All right, this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If you'd like a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. So, Aquarius, in the past, in the past, in the beginning, we have the Nine of Materials in Reverse. So this is the Nine of Pentacles in Reverse. It looks like there was a lack of independence maybe codependency, maybe feeling like you can't do it on your own. So worry here about finances that's coming through. It looks like this is really heartbreaking. It feels like you are in a codependent connection with someone um and it was there was a lot of heartbreak maybe this person it feels like you put this person first and they put you second third last last it's interesting because i get the feeling that this person cares for you but it feels like that's um it's so interesting how uh, this person in your past is treating you, uh, gosh, I'll just say it. It feels like they're treating you like garbage and not really seeing your value and worth. It looks like a lot of the these feelings started surfacing and you started seeing how this person and this relationship didn't transform. It, I think you thought when you got into this relationship that it would change and evolve and grow and, and it didn't. It feels like this person kind of locked you in at, at, at codependency and... Um, boy, if, I'm gathering that the universe was making it so you couldn't, you couldn't keep your feelings and your emotions repressed. They kept coming up to the surface because this was not uh, self-loving with the Ace of Cups in reverse. This was you giving all of yourself to this relationship and to this connection. Wow. All right, Aquarius, in present energy, we have the five of materials in reverse. So this is the five of pentacles in reverse. You're no longer abandoning yourself. You're healing abandonment wounds wow and your blessings are coming in wow <laughs> and you're very intuitive wow. oh my gosh okay holy cow it just started aquarius and just uh a, a grabber of of a, a hole of a place that you were in and Versus now, I think also spirit wants you to recognize that where, how far you've come. Look how far you've come. Holy cow. It looks like you no longer abandoning yourself. You've got blessings coming in. You're very psychic. This could be you or someone else. It feels like there's someone very loving very open-hearted we'll, we'll see if that's you or someone else it feels like it could go either way it feels like you're fighting for this where you're at i'm i'm i am excited i'm passionate about this i'm learning new ways of being i'm figuring things out on the go 
Um, it feels like you're you're having fun, honestly, and, and success too. A lot of public success. Let's find out who the King of Cups is. Because it does, it feels like you are feeling very open hearted and very loving and confident in your emotions. Is this Aquarius? What do we need to know about the King of Cups? What are the most important messages about the King of Cups? There we go. Wow. Okay. Uh,. This feels like you, the King of Cups, very heart-centered, loving yourself. You're no longer working with anybody who hasn't, um, I don't know, matured. I, I hate to say like awakened. Who's not conscious, even though that, that definitely has a vibe here. I don't want to work with people who are just um stuck in old paradigms stuck in old ways of living it looks like you're interested in a very non-traditional way of being or by exploring non-traditional ways of being you're having a lot of progress and moving forward and you're speaking your truth this feels amazing <laughs> this <laughs> So, all right, Aquarius, what's hidden this week is the nine of voices in reverse. So you're getting, this is the nine of swords in reverse. It looks like you're getting out of a nightmare. It feels very much so that you were not saved and rescued by a knight in shining armor. This was an internal job. This feels like you facing your fears Facing your greatest fears has shown you've shown yourself how confident you can be, how strong you can be, how courageous and brave you can be by just walking away from something that just is not for you. And I think that was really difficult. A lot more difficult than people realize. I think when people say, you know, an end of a marriage, end of a relationship, yeah, that's tough. No, this was more than that. It feels like you had a lot of mental illness uh, in this codependent, believing that this is all that you're worthy of, this treatment, that this was acceptable. It feels like you, for some of you, this is how you were taught uh to be treated that others were okay with treating you this way again they created this um feels like some of you were the black sheep of the family the um the one that everyone blamed consciously it feels like people um not on your side is the best way I can explain this. And looks like you were susceptible to a player in your past. You uh, recognized, you felt very familiar with inconsistent energies like players who come in hot and they're like, Ooh, yeah, I am so interested in this. I'm so interested in you. They get their fill and then they're done and leaving you anxious and, uh, you know, did I do something? Why aren't, I, aren't they calling? And then when they need more, then they come back in. It feels like um, you're now recognizing the codependent aspects of yourself. Wow. It looks like you started in a relationship with a player and then it feels like as the time as time went along, you became codependent and they're mentally manipulative. 
it feels like you had to really dissociate um, to stay um, seeing this person how they want to be seen, perceiving your world how they want you to be want you to perceive the world does not feel like you're allowed to show up with your own ideas your own uh interpretation your own feelings it feels like you have to see things the way this person sees things and it keeps you feeling very trapped um and unable to really be happy and un nor understand what's going on it feels very confusing while you're in it all right aquarius the advice this week is the hanged muse boy everybody's been getting the hanged muse sacrifice i think you're looking at things you're seeing things something has happened so you you can't go about your day to day. You have to look at what's going on in a clear and you're seeing that the difficulties that you've been through, they didn't have, they don't have to be there. It looks like you're ending a cycle of overgiving and you're no longer allowing people who are unapologetic and shallow and don't care about how they are treating you to treat you like an option i think um once you realized your value then and recognize that this isn't something you can build anything lasting or anything that leads to happiness or security or stability. It looks like you're leaving behind all of that because it's very painful and you're protecting yourself. I do feel that right now you are, uh, your fears might be getting the best of you. You might not feel like you have the courage and the strength and the messages I've got coming in are that you get that strength and that courage by going towards what fears you and on the other side of facing your fears you have that uh, inner confidence security stability within yourself that bravery showing yourself what you can overcome so all right Aquarius I hope this was helpful have a great week